Hello, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you'll get into our JA learning platform and then also take a look at our JA company program pop up materials. So you'll click here on the JA learning platform link. There are some other great resources back there, though, so feel free to have you and your students explore. If you haven't logged in yet, it will ask for your username and password. You'll enter those. And then you'll land here on our landing page. I'm going to come down here to one of our J Company program pop-ups. And let's see. I know there are several here that I have, but I just want to go ahead and find one. Um, let's go to this one from Reading with Miss Mercer. Once I open that or click on that uh, course, it's going to bring me right into the main welcome page. Um, you can click next here. Basically, everything is bookended here on the left. Um, you'll see all of the meetings. Um, but one thing I will note is these are drawers. So if you click them, things will kind of expand. So if you click volunteer resources, there's really three things here that I really want to point out. The basically, the guide for volunteers and teachers, digital or print, is right here and here. If you just want to download it, it is right here. If you want to see it online or on a second tab, for instance, I'm going to go ahead and click on this so you can see um, how it's going to display this. And what's really cool about this kind of second tab, if you will, or this rise guide, as we like to call it, is it's a digital way for you to load your course to have some talking points to see what's happening um, in the very, you know, in the very specific program sessions, and to have that on a second screen, it might be on a second screen at your desktop, it might be on a second screen like a phone or a tablet, but it allows you to have kind of all these different talking points, if you will, um, or the warm up activities all within you know that second screen while also being able to come back or, or split this and throw that on a different screen so that you have the session materials if you will um, for your students which are typically these interactive learning resources those are things that cannot be downloaded or taken off of the platform and you have a full screen option and a play button here you might share this uh, on your projector or on your smart board but you might also have you know, when you're going through the meeting one pop up warm up, which of course is just kind of a my name is, we're going to do an activity getting acquainted if you would like, you know, if we go back to the meeting one pop up warm up, it's now going to give us an overview how long it should take for the whole meeting, some meeting notes. There's two different options, you can click on these and it'll kind of reveal information for you, which is really nice. Here's kind of your meeting prep and materials. So it talks about the pop-up planners, which are for the students. Um, if we come back here to the volunteer resources, you will see, um, whoop, I misspoke. It is now in meeting one right here at the very top, uh, pop-up planner, document to download. It's a great tool. The other two things I was gonna point out other than the guide was the product approval application and the meetings and milestones, really the pacing guide as well. Both of these are helpful um, and really good tools to use. One other thing that I believe is going to uh, yep, pop up here in the first meeting is the pop up checklist. And I believe um, this is one of the best tools that will help guide you and the students kind of through the entire program. It has a pre program checklist, you can even write in the time frame who's responsible area educator areas J staff student or volunteer. And this goes on to then the plan phase so meetings one, two, three, four, etc. You can kind of see who is most in charge of these, the students, right? Um, but it definitely is a really great tool, like checklist and thing to have to make sure that all of the tasks are getting complete for the pop-up program. Close this. What's really cool is our platform, when you move around, it kind of tracks your progress. If you complete something, it'll give you a check. If you only went through part of it, it'll only give you that half moon, if you will. Because on this welcome, we were only 25% of the way through. If we, for instance, saw got acquainted and then let's get started. Now we finished, right? And it's going to give us that check mark. We see it here. We can now move on to the pop-up program overview. 
Um, and of course, each one of these kind of has a little minute marker next to it. But of course, if you recall back here in our meaning prep, it did say that 45 to 60 minutes for each session is about what, you know, each meeting will take. And of course, they have little 1.1, 1 .1, 0.2, 0.3, et cetera. There are lots of great opportunities as the students go through things to then have a post meeting survey or quiz. Um, these are online. If you want to have access to these quizzes, I can get them downloaded for you. Um, if we enroll your students, um, it's much easier to do it that way. They log in just like you do. Um, they come in here and click on the meeting one quiz and they actually take it right here online. Um, it'll track their progress. We can export all of that data and provide that to you kind of in a grade book type fashion. Um, that is kind of essentially the entire, you know, JA Company program pop-up materials and program experience. I don't think I need to move into all of these drawers and the information that's listed therein, but I will say, you know, I've become very familiar with the platform and how it's used. I will say it does take just a little bit of time to get very used to it, but a lot of the stuff that's in here is great for you to pull up on screen, to click through, it helps get the conversation started a lot of times. And then it really is kind of on the students to take over control. And of course it shows like students can access things by you know clicking on that button and all these things, you know, you can share with them to help them use it. Of course, it goes into each of these, you know, sessions and what the objectives are, any prerequisites, some notes, and what materials the students may use. So it does a really good job. Then as, as you kind of move through it, if you click welcome, it's actually going to now move into that meeting one pop up warm up. So these are now those slides that we just saw, right? You would actually have examples. What do you do? Right. All of that is kind of really broken down for you and or the volunteer. So whether it's me popping into your classroom or someone else, um, this is very useful, in my opinion. And then, of course, like, you know, welcome the students to meeting one. Um, review the objectives, explain what's happening, um, you know, as they get to pop up a business and run it. Um, you get to talk about different pop up ideas and businesses that are currently uh, running. There's a class poll, you know, all of this, if you will, the program, the business idea, the pop up business phases. There's tons of really good information here to kind of help guide you through each and every meeting. And as you can see, we only went through the welcome, the 1.1, we would then move on to 1.2, 1.3. You can also, of course, click over here. If you wait, the section, the section over here will kind of re-navigate uh, to the correct location. So as you can kind of see, it's very thorough. There's a lot of great information. It will kind of, as you can see, it'll have kind of some re repetition, so to speak but it's really there to kind of help prepare you and, and get you and your students ready to go. I kind of see each of these meetings representing a week. So, you know, the fact that there are, you know, back to this slide so we can see it more easily, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, allows you to have seven total meetings and then, you know, probably two weeks of operations um, in there. And, you know, because part of this is actually open for business meeting six, right? So you might get two or three weeks of operations in there, and then definitely a wrap up session. In general, I think these programs are really good, or this, these new materials are really good for the students and for the program here. There are just by uh, FYI certificates of achievement. If you'd like to have those printed out and then have me sign them, I'm more than happy to do that whenever I pop into your class kind of later in the day um, or later in the marking period. So, you know, keep me posted. Definitely send me an email um, with your class times so that I can make sure that I come in and help kick things off, help support during the middle, and of course, wrap things up at the very end, um, depending on how you and your school want to handle financials. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, Pop-up, in my opinion, is a wonderful experience. Um, I guess if I were to just share one more thing with you before you go, I know I'd mentioned some of those other links right there. They are the same username and password as what you use for your company program curriculum. So 
Um, I'll go to the Connect Learning Pathways because I think it and the Digital Career Book are the two most applicable. The PAS, though, is where those online uh, surveys are. It's just a little bit non-user friendly, <laughs> if you will. So once I pop in over here, I can click log in and use my same credentials. It's going to know that it's Ryan. Um, but what I wanted to point out is my business, my career, my money, my network, you can click on some of these and it'll take you to another page. There's a video right here about this whole site and why it was created, what they're trying to do. Um, but there are some really great interactive sessions. Some of these are out of other JA programs, but I think this is a great place where sometimes if you wanna go a little deeper with the students about you know my business and what it's like to start a business, you know, both that and my network would be great kind of add-ins to what you all are doing with the eighth grade J company program pop-up. But as you kind of click in here, there's something about explore, the research and planning, funding and legal, operations, marketing and sales. Some of these define your why, examples of entrepreneurs. You know, all of these, if you just, for instance, click on one of them, it's going to open up one of those interactive learning resources that we actually just saw uh, in the curriculum of J Company Program pop-up, but it's going to open it up right here in this screen, which is really cool, um, you know, for the students, for you. Um, let's see, we have a little next button right here. So let's see how this goes. Who do you think is an entrepreneur? It has some people, some faces over here, names a few. I believe if I were to guess, this is out of the JAB Entrepreneurial Program. But these are some great, oh, we just skipped over that video. That's cool. We can watch a video right here about some really successful entrepreneurs. And then it asks some questions as a reflect and check, which is kind of cool. Um, let's say true, let's see what it says. Incorrect. Wow. How about that? I love it. Anyways, I hope this uh, training video is going to be helpful and resourceful for you and pop up. Um, if you have any questions about accessing anything, let me know. Um, I'm more than happy to also um, share how you enroll students and things like that, or feel free to just send those student lists over to me and I'll go ahead and get them enrolled. I'll then send you back their username, passwords, or, you know, if in a lot of instances, if they have usernames that are connected to emails that actually can receive emails, which in most instances they can't, I will send a generic JAUSA username with a static password that they can't change, but they will have a unique username tied back to their individual self. And they would use that to log in, access everything, take the pre-program survey, and then all of those post-meeting surveys that you find within each of the meetings. Um, keep me posted if you have any questions. Always happy to help, and I look forward to popping into your classrooms and helping support you. Bye.